Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we are checking out a 2022 Dutchman Astoria. This one is the 3603 FLP floor plan. What makes this fifth wheel super unique is we have two bedrooms. That's right, not a bunk room. We have an actual separated two main beds in addition to a little bunk space, but we'll get into that. Let me flip you around. We're gonna go into every single detail that this fifth wheel has to offer. Perfect setup. The Astoria line has a great finishing package. It feels very residential in here. Even have a little loft. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, starting with a quick overview. We have three slides on this unit, two exterior doors. Here's a look at two of the slides there. And coming around to this side, you can see one more slide in both of our exterior doors over on this end. All right, let's check out some details. Starting right here at the front cap, there is a gorgeous LED detail. It's kind of hard to see in the daytime, but another great thing is this cap, if you look at the seams, the seams go off to the side, well within the side of the body. What's great about this is that prevents the seams from being right here on the front end of the camper, taking on all that um, moisture that you may get while towing. It's well put over here to the side, so you can actually see the separated cap from the rest of the unit. So that is a look. This is the Astoria Platinum. We have our Kurt Rotaflex right here. This is gonna give you the pivoting head, really great for towing. Under here, you will find your spare tire, your battery, solar, everything you need right in this area. Coming over to this side of the unit, we do have our uh, slide. This one is going to be in the main bedroom up front. We are on the cable suspension. Here is the spot for one of the propane tanks. You will get two of them and they will be filled up when you purchase here at County Line. Moving over here, we have our connections. These lights, uh, whenever they've got this little bubble up here, this actually can be set to be a motion sensor so you can choose to leave them off turn them on manually or make them motion sensor. We've got our cable. Here's our hot water bypass valve, really great spray port city water connection, the black tank flush, and we actually have our tank handles right here. And then this is where all of your hoses can come up. Look at this storage compartment, great pass through. There's a look at our aluminum frame and you can see our electronic leveling system right here. And then over on the other side, we have our solar, but we will get into that in just a moment. I love these durable little divots they've got here on bottom. And this is a good peek of that vinyl flooring that goes through the entire body and floor of the unit. We'll see that on the inside. Right here, we have our hot water access. This is our furnace access. There's a look at one of our tanks right here. Check out the living room slide. Love all the windows on this unit. I cannot wait to get inside and show you those details. Here is the gray tank access. And moving along to the back side, look at this great pass-through storage. It goes from the side of the camper out to the back of the camper. This is underneath that second bedroom. And check this out, we have slam latches that just lock in place. But I also love that they're on the magnetic clips. So no messing with the little plastic item. Moving along to the back end, we have our power connection right there. Of course, we're on 50 amp. Here is the fresh water connection. And moving along to the back side, down on the bottom, we can see they include a little tube to put your hoses in and the other access compartment to that pass through again on that slam latch. Up overhead, we are um, ready to go for a backup camera. We also have a ladder attached so you can get up on your roof. That is great so you don't have to store or carry a foldable ladder with you. We do have a little cargo hitch right here. Great spot to store a bike rack or um, a little rack for extra cooler space. Moving along to the main side, I love that we have two awnings on this unit. So you've got an awning that's going to come down over 
over this outdoor kitchen area and the awning up at the front is going to cover more of your outdoor entertainment area now here is a closer look at the mini fridge and we've got it stashed in a storage compartment great spot to put the drinks now this bracket here is going to include a grill that comes with the unit it's going to mount right onto that bracket and it does have an lp quick connect right underneath so you're able to easily grill just by plugging up the griddle that comes with the unit taking a look at this second exterior door this is going to give you the access into that second bedroom and i love that the awning covers the door fully if you look the arm does not get in the way of where the door is opening and closing they extend it out just a little bit further i think that's a really great thing to look for we're also on the friction hinge so this door is going to just stay put wherever you put it moving over we've got another flush right there and moving along to this slide this is going to be your kitchen slide and again looking up at this awning it's going to cover this slide fully extend over it and then your door up near the front looking underneath this slide is a peek at our uh, dual axle suspension and you can see we've got some separation between this is going to give you more control and durability stability as you're towing love that here's a look at our fender and moving along to the outdoor entertainment area that bracket is for mounting your television and then we've got our connections for cable and to plug up the television again all covered underneath the awning great outdoor entertainment space you also have outdoor speakers and moving up to our door we can see these steps now these are going to be lightweight aluminum steps they are going to fold up and inside the door of the unit they also have the the top ledge a little bit extended it's a great spot to keep your shoes and down on bottom we've got little pedestal feet which is great it just helps level you out in different terrain Moving up here to our grab handle, we've got the extra large extended grab handle. When you are ready to tow, it just folds up and over the front door. Really makes it easy climbing in and out. Here's a look at our screen door. And again, that friction hinge is gonna stay placed wherever you put it. There's a closer look at our outdoor speakers. You can control those from zone A and zone B on the inside of the stereo, hook up to your Bluetooth, and you are able to get that sound on the inside or outside. And of course you have your outdoor TV area, which can sync up also. Here's a look at that other side of the pass-through storage very large slam latches and you are able to access your items from both ends and over here we have that solar uh, control panel so you are prepped for solar right there in the event you would like to add it here is a look at the other storage compartment for the lp tank i love that they have them on both sides and they can lock away easily on the sides of the unit and we are back to the front. So that is a look of the outside in detail of this fifth wheel. Let's get inside and check out all the features that it has to offer. So I always like to start with a quick overview of the floor plan so you can get an idea of the layout. Right here is our main entertainment area and moving straight back to that second bedroom. See, you can get a peek, a true second bedroom with a loft space and a half bathroom tucked right over here. Again, it's got its own private entrance. And now moving up to the nose of the unit, we have our other full bathroom. Look at that double sink, large shower. And right in the front, we've got our main bedroom with great wardrobe space. So that is an overview. Let's get into some great details. Okay, so many features, where to begin? Let's start with everything in this slide. Now, something Astoria does I think is really neat is they have this little LED lighting detail in their trim. Just really sets it off, makes it super sharp. And I also love the trim above. It really feels residential, like crown molding. Uh, over each of these areas, we have individual push lights 
Another thing I love is all the windows. Look at all this right here in this one slide. But what's also really great is these windows are on the draw night shade. So you can totally black out this space with just a simple tool and they roll up nice and easy. I also love that all these windows have screens. So on a gorgeous day like today where it feels amazing outside, you can open up all of these windows and get just such a good flow going throughout the unit. Now checking out our dining area, we've got this farmhouse style table I think is really neat and I love these chairs. Look at those. Literally something you'd find inside a house. I would put those at my dining room table right now. They are so cute. I also love that this vinyl flooring carries over into the slide itself so you don't have to worry about carpet. So this package down here is going to be that outdoor grill that I showed you earlier. It's all set in the unit, ready to go. Now look at this. We have an ottoman with storage underneath. So great place to stash some extra blankets. But this is also freestanding moving ottoman so you can go move it over here, move it into one of the bedrooms whatever you like so that's a look at your little dining area moving over here we have our Thomas Paine movie theater style recliners they've got their pool right here Thomas Paine also gives a warranty for their products so you do get a nice warranty in addition this vinyl is super durable but in the event you ever had anything happen to it got a warranty to get you covered it has the cup holders super super durable easy to clean and I love the light gray color just kind of going with this overall farmhouse residential feel that we have moving over next to this slide we have a massive pantry now look at this like French style doors we've got our beautiful inserts residential handles and look at all of this storage these are the wooden shelves too so they're gonna be nice and durable for you Moving along to this side and our kitchen area, look at that. Here's that LED detail that I was telling you about. You just need the camper to be on to see all of this gorgeous updated lighting. So we've got it right here on the on the uh, kick toe right there. We have our outlets on both sides of the island, which I think is great. My favorite part, look at this LED lighting throughout built into the unit. We have our solid surface countertops. They look like quartz, absolutely stunning. Here is that residential style faucet with the gold accent. And we've got our sprayer, which we can dismount and move around. So this right here is our drying rack, but look at this large undermounted stainless steel farmhouse style sink right here in the island. And look at all the storage we've got here. Loving the gold pools. Um, and check out that fully extending drawer. This is a great spot. Already comes with your trash cans. Keep those tucked away. Here's some more storage underneath the sink. If you notice, we've got our two-tone cabinetry. So we've got the nice wood color here. And then we've got white over there. We've got all the drawers over on this side. And moving over to this slide again almost like that crown molding detail led lighting and you're going to find the same lit countertop some more storage residential sized microwave look at that it is a beast then we have our graystone oven right down here love the glass countertop provides more space but when you are ready to cook roll it on back we've got our three burner gas stove tucked over here in the corner look at this a little extra outlets and uh charging ports we have some more storage right down here great place to stash the pots and pans again on that fully extending drawer so you can reach all the way back now looky here this stainless steel refrigerator we have our double drawer freezer which is perfect and then the refrigerator look at all of that space and all those cubbies taking a look overhead we have our glass globes and a vent this is going to be on a control so you don't have to worry about climbing all the way up there can control it right over here open close on off really great 
to have some roof circulation in the event dinner is not going as planned you can get some ventilation up here in this high ceiling can also take a look at that led lighting throughout the unit these globes just a nice added feature moving over to our entertainment area check out all the storage the floor to ceiling cabinetry makes it feel so luxurious but also provides loads of space pots pans bedding entertainment items whatever you need this astoria has taken advantage of every little tiny inch that it can for storage Moving over here, we have our TCL Roku TV. This is very large and it is on the extendable swivel bracket. So you are able to pull this out and move it wherever you would like it to face. So if you're doing some cooking, you wanna watch TV from over on this side, you are able to position it like so. And of course, swing it over this way, more for facing the recliners. I love the extra ledge that we have all the way across here. Good spot to stash keys, phones. Again, we've got some more storage, little cubby, your Jensen radio. This does have the zone A, zone B, so we can control everything inside or outside. Also sync up to your Bluetooth. Sync up the Bluetooth right here on the inside, and then you are able to control it on the speakers outside. And look at this, we have a stunning fireplace. This is going to emit heat as well as a beautiful color component changing. Right here, we've got the logs, the ice and the coals. And right there's a little look of everything that it can put out. We've got a sleep timer, remote control, just a nice luxurious feature in this Astoria. Moving along to our second bedroom, take a peek at these doors. It's literally the little things, the little detail trim in the doors, the toppers over all of the windows, these uh, actual residential handles and doorknobs really makes this feel like home. And look at this. A lot of times we have people come in and they want two bedrooms and most of the time we have to direct them to a bunkhouse. That is not the case with this. If you have two adults that you need separate living quarters for, or maybe you have an older child that doesn't want or need the bunk beds, you actually have their own separate bedroom. In addition to the bed, we have this loft area. We will get up there in just a moment. Let's check out some features right here. So back in this bedroom, we're gonna have our accordion nightshades. You can black this place out, no problem. We still have screens on our windows. I love this large window in the back, very large screen. This one's going to fully slide open, get it opened up in here. We have a built-in end table with charger. So we've got USB and normal outlet, a little cubby, and they have their own wardrobe right here with actual hanging space so we've got a true wardrobe closet as well as our drawers again fully extending we've got two of them now if that wasn't enough space we do have underneath the bed a easy lift right here on the struts access to all that storage underneath the unit so not only can you get it from right here under the bed you can get it on the exterior as well in the bonus we've got our own entrance back here somebody can come and go as they please from the back door without going through the entire unit and they can access their bedroom area as well as their own private half bath let's take a look in here I love all the empty wall space. You can really decorate this, make it feel like home. They've included your towel rack. Here is our medicine cabinet, little extra storage there and inside. And they've utilized every little corner of sink space and counter space that they can. I love the large deep bowl. It's not super shallow. We've got that Mac black finish right down here is an outlet and more storage right underneath the sink. We also have our porcelain toilet. So porcelain's not only easier to keep clean, it's durable. And again, adding more of that residential flair to the unit. 
coming over this way we have the loft the ladder can fold right up in and place flat up against the wall if you are wanting to access the loft just pull it forward and it has tons of stuff so even just a little baby stuff right here so even children will be able to get in and out of this super easy taking a look at the loft we have a little entertainment area right up here so you've got storage if they've got clothes you can put them up here you can use this as a little workspace i've even seen people stash some pets up here that's right get the doggos a good space we do have the little railing so if you do have kiddos up here they've got some safety and we've got two windows again that can fully open we have our night shades just a good extra spot i love that it's up and tucked out of the way without compromising space and you're still able to utilize this second bedroom okay moving along to the front of the unit let's check out some features this way so coming right here to our main entrance, we have loads of storage right here, some shelves, access to our breaker panel. I love that it's tucked away neatly behind a door so it's not just exposed. They even thought to add little hooks right there so we can add umbrellas and coats. Here's our control panels for everything. We've got some switches for lighting and then we've got everything you need for our slides. The ability to check the battery level, tank levels, that's that max air fan for the kitchen. And right here, we've got our water pump, the water heater, you could choose gas or electric. Ceiling lights can be controlled right here from this main switch. Here's our Dometic AC right there. We have it uh, mounted. So you've got your vents all the way throughout the unit. Right here, our steps and our handrail going right up to the nose of the unit look at this bathroom double sinks loads of countertop space and check out this accent wall right back here with the large mirror <laughs> no fighting over the little medicine cabinet mirror for two people you've got plenty of mirror space in this unit here's our led lighting there's that motion sensor lighting i told you about outside they've included our towel rack another porcelain toilet, and then loads of storage right here, as well as those fully extending drawers. Ladies, we have tons of space to keep the makeup and hair products, as well as the countertop space. Again, those nice deep bowls. And look over here, we have the shower insert, a little bench to shave our legs, keep our products up here. And I love the matte black finish carried right here into the shower with a large removable shower head, our skylight. Here's our tri-fold door. Perfect amount of space, large shower. You will not have any problems getting around in there. And we've got some open storage cubbies to be adorable spot to stash the towels. Here is our exhaust fan. And we've got a pocket door. This is so great. You don't have to worry about a bedroom door flapping in the hallway. We have a pocket door which tucks nicely out of the way. Now, I love the little window they've added here again with the screen, a nightshade. All the windows just make it feel so bright and airy. You've got one in the bathroom as well. Moving into the main bedroom, I got that detail on the door. I really love. We've got a slide and look at that built-in headboard, fabric headboard. Very pretty makes it feel like home we have our king size bed windows on both sides with the night shades these are going to be the draw shades just like we had in the living room area and look at these little built-in in tables you've got some storage right here got those on both sides we have an outlet but above each side of the bed you've got your individual lights as well as usb chargers Right in here, you have your own AC. So we do have two ACs. This one's gonna be the 13.5 BTU and you can control it right here. So it's not one you have to manually control from up there. It's got its own switch. Underneath the bed, we are going to have ample storage. Look at that. 
good spot to stash the uh, clothing that you are not using during the season changing, but you do have plenty of space for the current season clothing. Look at all of these cubbies and we do have a washer and dryer prep right here in this unit. You are set to go. So you could put the washer and dryer right there and then utilize all this no space for your wardrobe. And then if that wasn't enough, they've even got a little dresser built in right here. Again, on those fully extending drawers. And they've thrown in your Jensen TV. We've got another large window right here. And then that LED lighting throughout. A lot of space in here. Very easy to move around the beds and get to what you need. So that's been a look at this 2022 Dutchman Astoria. This is the 3603 FLP, a stunning unit. Y'all come on out to County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. We're at 12131 Bernard Parkway. We have an amazing deal going on on this unit as well as all of our 2022 models. I'm gonna put more details in the description below. Y'all come on out and see us. When you think camping, think County Line Campers.